Hello everybody, this is Intrepid83, and welcome back to Let's Play White Knight Chronicles 2. Alright, the wait for Caesar to come back continues, so... Uh, let's see if there's anything we can help him out with uh, in the city here. So it looks like there's a couple, uh, couple of uh, errands we could potentially uh, take on, so let's go find them. And just to see... We could potentially who we could be talking to. Uh, all right, what we got here? Okay, that's Faria still. What this? There we go. We got Madro, uh, Ezri, Snow. Yeah, looks like that's it. All right, let's go track him down. It's like the whole city belongs to another age. So a couple out here. Hey, there's snow right there. Let's talk to him. Everybody says that mixing magic and machinery is impossible, but I know it can be done. I've been researching the possibilities for most of my life, but recently I reached, so reached something of a dead end. What I need is a partner, someone who knows magic inside and out, someone who can sacrifice all for the good of, mess good of science. Oh, and if they can work incredibly long hours for little to no pay, that would be a big plus. <laughs> I heard of a Farian in the Merchant Quarter who's curious about magic. Maybe he would join me. Yeah, I'm sure. Let's go ahead and go ask him. Did the, uh, the log say anything about it? Magic machines. Farian Mage in the Merchant Quarter. Alright. Guess we'll uh, take a look around the Merchant Quarter. Well, this is a good place to rest. All right, what do we got here? Looks like we got a marker off in D2 there, so let's go check it out. <coughs> Pardon me. Well, this is a good place to rest. He's far in. Let's see if he has anything to say. Dianus. Dianus? Mixing magic and machinery? Gods, it's simply brilliant. Only a true native of greed could envision such a thing. I would love to help this mad genius with our research, but I simply cannot give up my own experiments at this time. I'm researching the art of binding, you see, so before I take up another crucible, I must bind at least one item with my own hands. You seem keen to advance science. Perhaps you could help you would help me. If you can procure some materials, I could finally finish my work. I require only three mist crystals. It should be a simple matter for one of your talents, no? Yeah, mist crystals. Do we have them? Uh, <coughs> mist crystals, mist crystals. If only you could sort this by alphabetical. Oh, there they are. Oh, we've only got one, so unfortunately, yeah, we're going to have to come back to you. But, uh, yeah, we'll so keep an eye out. <laughs> Alright, so, that one's reached a, a stalling point. So, yeah, let's uh, go check out some of the others in downtown.
All right, who else do we have? I think I saw a couple more that we could potentially talk to. Uh, yeah. Better get going. Near where snow was and uh, one further down. Lit, uh, unfortunately, not her. And there's one. Madro, let's talk to him. What's the man we're looking for? Jack, you bastard. I think you can just screw around with our territory. And why the hell ain't Mark doing nothing? He's supposed to be controlling his little street punks. Time for talking is just about over, says me. Shall we? We shall. Alright, uh, that sounded rather hostile. I got another marker up further up, uh, up the way. The, uh, whoop. Trouble downtown, indeed. <laughs> yeah, let's go. Let's go talk to Jack. Hey, Jack. What? I don't have to do time to deal with people right now. I'm trying to survive out here. Oh, so Madro thinks I've crossed some imaginary turf border? Well, he can go suck a lemon. He's an idiot, that one. Him and his entire gang are all idiots. If he thinks I can catch us white weasels, he's got another thing, another thing coming. We know this town like the backs of our gloves, and with Mark on our side, I've got nothing to fear. Nothing. Did we need to pick anything up? Ooh. Mark, eh? Oh, so we've got another marker down there. Let's go talk to Mark. Hey, Mark. Jack said, what now? Oh, God, this is a piece of bad news right there. Takes guts to challenge my drill like that, and if Jack keeps this up, he'll see those guts spilled all over the sidewalk. Look, you seem to care for some reason. You mind passing a warning on to Jack for me? Tell him that even if the White Weasels are more clever than Madro, we're still going to get killed in a fight. He's the sort of guy that'll knife you in the eye just for fun. We don't need enemies like that just now. Jack's been real grumpy lately, but maybe hearing this from you will wake him up a little. Yeah. Reed certainly hasn't gotten any small. Trying to decide if it's a good thing if it could potentially be a result of this mist that's causing this problem. Good because, well, good news because uh, all you gotta do is take care of the mist and we're good to go. Bad news is, how long is it gonna take for us to deal with this mist? Hey, Jack, so Mark wants us to turn tail and run, does he? Well, he can go suck an egg. I don't care if he does run his run this gang, a man still gotta eat at night, am I right? If we let Madro win this time, we're just admitting that we're nothing more than a bunch of lapdogs. His gang is nothing but thugs and hooligans. We white weasels got nothing to fear from them. What I don't get is why you guys even care about this. What's your angle, huh? Well, if you really want to help, go get on Madro's gang for me. And for any info you can, you can get would help. All right, let's go talk to Madro again. Hmm, wait, where was it again? I wonder if there's anything new down at the uh, the Black Cherry. Hey, Madro. Tomorrow, you bastards. Tomorrow, you bastards are getting hunted down. Hunted down like dogs. Hope you're ready, you bastards. 
<laughs> ah, great. Now what? Uh, and Metro is poised to attack the White Weasels. We'd better hurry and mourn Jack. All right, yeah, that's uh. Do not forget our purpose. Hey, Jack! <laughs> ah, crap, the guard, greed guard got one of the weasels. They're all over the rest of us, like white on rice. Madro must have ratted us out, out to the man. That's the only explanation. I mean, no, what a white weasel would ever do a rotten thing like that. This is crazy, even for Madro. I didn't think he'd ever get the law involved in our business. Well, I hope that, uh... Uh, one of the weasels, maybe we drove right out of the moat. Right, let's go talk to Madro again. We should take a breather soon. Yeesh. Oh, that missed. Of all the bastardly luck, why has the greed guard gone and stuck their noses in my business? Oh, I ah, well, guess I better call Weasel Hunt off. Listen, I want to end up on the wrong end of a pike. Who the hell ratted me out? Oh, sounds like uh, maybe somebody's trying to... Uh, maybe somebody's got it in for both of them. I know when Madro has called off the turf war for now, maybe this was Mark's doing. Yeah, maybe. Let's go see. Business as usual at the black market, it seems. Sounds like we're at a stalemate now. Well, that's fine with me. Yeah, that's right. It was me that ratted out the white weasels. <laughs> I made mean, a deal with the greed guard to round up a, one of our guys. They're just sitting on him for a couple of days. The guards got eyes on the white weasels, then Madro ain't gonna do anything stupid. I know it sounds cowardly, but I'd rather see this see this than have a full on bloodbath break out in the streets. You go tell Jack he's gonna be livid, but what's done is done. Oh wow. Alright. Sounds like a bit of a an enforced stalemate for now. And hopefully if this mist is to blame. The volatility. Hopefully, we can uh, solve the problem before uh, before it's too late. Wait, Mark ratted us out? That's just low, man. Of course, I suppose his heart was in the right place. I got people working for me. I know the score. He was just trying to save us from a butt kicking or worse. Might have lost some good men if it came to that. But the least he could have done is freaking tell me about it first. <sighs> You're next. And tell Mark what he said. Alright. I'd hate to be responsible for this many people. Stayed calm? Good. That's real good. Maybe I've been keeping that kid on a, on too tight a leash. Sounds like it's time to stop looking over his shoulder and start looking for some new hustles we can, we can run. Yeah, but thanks for all your help. You saved me a hell of a lot of hassle, see? Here, you earn these. And for helping them, helping them out, we get three Pyrobomb 2s. And yeah, if you were wondering what those skills I taught uh, Yuli were about, uh, you know, um... What were they called? Uh, one was medicinal, one was explosive, and one was magical, I think. Uh, what was the expertise? That's it. Yeah, so that's what these are for. 
Uh, what do the pirate bombs do? Well, you can probably guess just from the name, but... <laughs> uh, oh. Ah, there we go. Yeah, does a decent amount of fire damage to nearby enemies, so just an AoE fire attack, basically. So, yeah. Not gonna lie, that's probably my least favorite errand of the, of the lot so far, so, yeah. I mean, if there was a bit more of a lead-up to it, rather than just sticking our noses into it, stick our noses into somewhere that we really had no reason to, so, yeah. But... We finished that errand at least. Got another one on hold for now until we can find some more mist crystals. And there should be one more person we can speak to. Up at the uh, central station. I mean, the, the errand we just did kind of had the flavor of the uh, the errand in last game with uh, from Albana. What was his name? Um, the one that had us running around the the world <laughs> looking for a uh, a gate pass for Albana. Yeah, that one actually uh, that one was it's, it still gets a chuckle out of me. But yeah, it's just. What was it called? Before we start the next one. Uh, no. Carmen gonna know a bind. Is that it? No, no, that's a different one. Lost and found. Is that it? Nope. Uh, ah, what was it called? Uh, da, 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 da. Is that it? Yeah, for Kenneth, that's it. That's the one. Anyways. Alright. Let's head up to, uh... Do not forget our purpose. Head up to the ticket area. And we're looking for right there, D2. Isery. Aye, the city's changed, it has. Not this part so much, but no, but elsewhere. They got all the these new neighborhoods. It sure wasn't sure isn't isn't the town I once knew. Hey, listen, this might seem a, like a bit of a trick question, but I don't know how to feel about all of them changes. Should I be happy about how prosperous are my hometowns become? Or worried over how everything is changing so fast? I suppose the only thing to do is find people my age and ask them, but I'm not sure they'd tell me this truth straight to my face. Mind asking around for me? You can start with Joseph. He and I used to take on the odd hunt together. I imagine you can find him, some, find him somewhere in the merchant quarter. Yeah, sure. You'll see what, what uh, Joseph has to say. On the matter. Mm, wait, where was it again? Merchant quarter it is. All right, it looks like it's. Potentially right here. Any 
hate to be responsible for this many people. That's nice. Surprise. Hey, Joseph. Esri has some concerns. Esri sent you, eh? Hey, glad to hear she's doing all right. I'm just a drifter who wound up in greed by chance, so seeing the city change doesn't make me uneasy or anything. Actually, I think it's kind of exciting. Every time I turn around, there's something new going up. You know, this conversation reminds me of a greed native who took off a while back. Lindbergh was her name. She used to say a lot of the same things Esri is saying right now, so maybe she still feels the same way. She's one of the best hunters you've ever seen, and I think she's paying it. Applying the trade over in Albana. I want to pay her a visit. Alright, so it sounds like we are off to Albana before we can uh, continue this errand. So, good old days. So, yeah. A huntress named Lindbergh, who's still in the business over in Albana. Alright, so I guess... Uh, should we cross through Albana in our travels? I guess we'll have to uh, be sure to talk to her. But... That indeed is all of the errands I have planned for this episode. All right, so, well, I suppose next time we'll uh, take a quick, quick gander at the uh, mansion and see if uh, Caesar's come back. And if not, well, I guess we'd better uh, think about heading out in search of him in the Flander Trail. And well, I figure if we wait, we've waited long enough. Where if. Uh, if he was going to be back anytime soon, he probably would have. And if not, we've let enough time pass where we'll likely potentially run into him on his way back. Should we head out there? So, so yeah, I guess we'll uh, take a look at the, at the mansion, see if he's back. If not, then I guess we'll uh, head out to the Flander Trail and uh, see if we can track him down. This is Intrepid83 signing off. If you've enjoyed the video, video I ask you please consider hitting the like button on your way out. Nice uh, little... Uh, relaxed if a bit somber episode this episode but yeah uh, we tried to help out a few people here and uh well, we only really solved one problem but uh got a couple in our belt and uh, i guess we'll uh follow up with them as uh as we move forward all right so this is yeah intrepid 83 signing off thank you so much for spending some time with me today and uh, thank you for spending some of your time here and if you haven't subscribed yet, why not head on over to the channel, see if there's anything there that could potentially earn your subscription. And if it does, well, I'll see you in the next one. However, if you dislike the video, by all means, feel free to hit the dislike button. That's what it's there for. Uh, nothing personal ever taken from it. Uh, so, yeah. And maybe leave a... So much to ask see. maybe. It's consider leaving a comment below first. suggesting how we, can, how we can improve. I'm always looking for ways. Always looking for ways or tips and tricks or suggestions on how we can improve. And, uh, yeah. I'll take them into consideration and uh, see if I can uh, implement them moving forward. But in any case, take care, be blessed, and have a good one.